All right, this is the 1989 Carver Mariner 32. Um, fine looking boat here. The owner of it for uh, the last since 2007, I believe, had uh, used it primarily as a condo down in Seattle. So not a lot of activity on the engines. When he bought it in 2007, they had just rebuilt the engines. First blemish you may come upon right here is some damage done uh, while the boat was on a buoy during a storm here. The owner has had an estimate done on that, and uh, he's happy to give, get it fixed with a full price offer. Um, they're asking $24,500 for the boat. You see it comes with this hard bottom dinghy here. Oh, it has a nice swim step. Uh, these Mariners, if you know them, they're really known for their interior and their layout. Just a comfortable, comfortable boat. Underneath, you've got twin props here. The boat is about due, uh, in fact, due for a bottom paint. That is something that, at the price that he's asking, uh, he wants to leave open to the... Uh, next buyer, but that is with the bottom paint there. Coming up on board, you'll have to please excuse the mess here. We are planning to clean up these footprints, but you can see this giant aft deck here. And we're going to just do a quick walk around here at the front. You can see inside is your bridge, as well as a fun seating area in the back as well. So really could host a large family, a bunch of friends. As you walk around to the front here, see here's your windlass, have hooked in there, a spotlight, and this as well is the seating area. I believe that cushion in the back goes up front on that. There, so a layout area in the front. This canvas is brand new. So that's one of the big assets the owner had currently put in. You can see the seating couching area in here as well. Moving on down the other side. Into you. The main living area. You can see very spacious area here. We've got a salon, eating area on one side, love seat on the other. Speakers built into the wall. A wet bar area here, as well as the paneling. Stereo system, older one with cassette tapes. Uh, older, uh, um, older um, air control system there that does both heating and air conditioning um, but it's mostly an AC system it doesn't have a true cabin heating system uh, climate control is what I was looking for this here is the stove electric burner stove here looks like Mary been used twin sinks as well there but again having this fantastic open s uh, space here this is a newer refrigeration system put in i believe 2013 with freezer so it's an excellent addition in here we've got the main cabin living area here <laughs> i meant to clean it up a bit more these are some extra cushions that can go in the front there that gives you an idea then of that living area. And then you have the two-way area here for the bath and shower, both the private entrance here and the communal entrance right here. And it's a, a terrifically sized bathroom and shower. Um, really, I think, a terrific um, aspect of this boat, along with a full-size shower in that area 
as well. <laughs> I gotta push it in to see. Um, newer toilet on there with so that's electrical. Uh, electric flush. Um, another very cool aspect of this right here. Notice the crack here in the um, in the hatch. Nice reminder that it is not a new boat. That is just another blemish that's on the boat there. But you have that interior access. To the cabin spot. We're then got the captain's seat here. Older equipment, auto helm, but it works. Your uh, your auto nav system here, and then your chart plotter. Both of them work, but again, older. Spotlight, depth sounder, and another radio on the side there as well. Also comes with a Fireboy discharge system on the side. But as you can see, everything's a little worn on here. Um, something goes there. I'm not sure what, but certainly can find out in the course of compass as well. So that is a tour of the exterior of the boat. Let me uh, get into the engine room.